children. In the years gone by, when a country boy reached the age of 23, his dad would take him behind the barn and he'd set him on his knee. He'd tell him about the birds and the bees and the kissing girls and such. But it never got too far out of hand because dad didn't know that much. Now they've got sex education in the public schools. Mom and Pa are just a couple old fools. Sometimes I wonder how Mom and Dad had intelligence enough to have the kids they had. Before the sexual revolution came, I guess a person took quite a chance. And picking up proper marriage made at a game or a school dance. When it came to physiology, maybe we weren't too smart. But the boys looked like boys and the girls like girls, and that was a darn good start. Now they've got sex education in the public schools. The boys wear long hair, beads, and jewels. They better go back to colored booties, too. The girls wear pink and the boys wear blue. The nice old gentleman down the street who makes his living from dirty books is going to have to close his newsstand down and quit the way it looks. He can't compete with the kind of smut that the local school board buys. It's another case of government trying to socialize private enterprise. Now they've got sex education in the public schools. They use live models as teaching tools. The movie candy is a visual aid for sex appreciation in the second grade. If I had a choice where my little girl should learn about love and life, I would rather it be in our own home from me and from my wife Or from the nice young boy across the street who is quiet, clean and shy Not from the dirty old man that teaches social in our local junior high Now they've got sex education in the public schools A group called Seekers makes the rules The preachers say it's a communist trick or just a low-down scheme to get rich quick let the kids grow up in a normal way and laugh and play and fight. You might even teach a few of them to add and read and write.